what's cracking everybody um first thing shout out to all the channel members um i'm gonna have a giveaway soon for one of my male and one of my female channel members and it's gonna be a shirt a new shirt i'm coming out with <clears throat> and then they'll they'll be available for uh purchase um i'm working with some people uh fans of the show fans of the channel um and they're gonna be they're gonna be producing all the the merch there's gonna be hoodies um cups t-shirts um maybe hats depends on what you're looking for all right um now that said i made this video earlier today same damn video right um, I posted it, but I posted it private just to see, um, what YouTube would do. And of course they demonetized it, but I think it's because it had some, um, some beats in it, beats that I paid for, but you know, YouTube, they do what they want. And then after five or six days, they'll be like, oh yeah, you could use that beat, but it's not, I'm not getting views five or six days later. So they know what they do. The ads they run, they keep the money. But anyway, so let me try again. Okay, this video, um, it basically came or it comes from, um, so like yesterday I had a, I went to a barbecue and there's a bunch of lifers there, um, guys that I'm close to, one that I'm really, really close to, like a brother to me. Uh, he was there, and so when I came back, I showed my wife the pictures, and uh, she was like, oh, that's cool, you were kicking it with so-and-so, and, -so and um, how's his wife doing, All right? And uh, and I was like, why? I don't, I don't know, it's probably good, I, like, why would I ask him about his wife, right? And it was, it's such an innocent question, and like anytime I, I rap to other lifers, you know, my wife will ask, well, what about, how's this and how's that? And I'm like, babe, we don't have those type of conversations, right? And it didn't even dawn on me until recently. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video. So after yesterday, I said, you know what? I'm going to make a video about this. Um, and it has to do with, um, you know, out here in society, it's a more... Um, trusting environment um it's uh less um, i don't know if i should say less volatile but um what i mean by that is so prison and and again i can only speak about california prisons right um california prisons is best way I could put it is um, today's ally can be tomorrow's adversary and that's within your own right and um, I know a lot of people can't wrap their heads around that right you know people think oh well you know all the Mexicans they they get along together when they're in prison they just hang out together and then the blacks they they're cool they you know but it, it doesn't work that way um, when you're in an environment where um, everybody's jockeying for position, um, and, you know, you guys know I don't get into all the specifics. Those of you that have been there know what I'm talking about. Those of you that haven't, I'm glad you haven't. But, um, so just conversing, I can't speak for the whites, the, the Asians, blacks, anything else, right? But in having conversations, um, maybe it goes back to how some people say I, I, I talk slow and, you know, and I, maybe I do, but um, being incarcerated for the majority of my life, um, doing decades in the CDC, you understand that, um, when a person talks, the ones that talk frivolously about frivolous shit don't understand that 
to a trained ear, you're 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 you are divulging a lot about yourself. Um, what you talk about speaks volumes, right? Um, you know, there's an old saying: "Don't judge a man by his answer; judge him by his question." Think about that. It's deep, right? And so. Um, when you have a conversation, unless it's somebody you're like super duper close with, maybe one of your homeboys that you grew up with, um, you can have those frivolous conversations. You know, one clowning in there is a constant. Um, you have to make those moments where you can laugh in that type of environment, right? But when you're doing that, that's one thing. But when you're having a conversation, um, when you're speaking, people are listening to what's being said and what's not being said. Um, and I think a lot of us, when we get out, we still have that. Um, we still have like I would never let that go. I think it, it gives me an advantage, you know, like even at work or anywhere. Um, it allows me to get a glimpse into someone's mind that they don't realize they gave me, right? And I think that's, that's a, it, maybe it's a gift and a curse. You know what I mean? It's like, um, even, even though um, I know I'm nobody to judge anyone at all, and I don't want to judge people because no one wants them wants to be judged themselves. We all make mistakes, right? But it it is kind of judgmental when you know I'm having a, a regular conversation and yet I'm analyzing. And I know that a lot of us do that. And I know that um like for an example, my wife could tell me that she had a conversation with her friend, you know, and she could tell me the conversation. And I know I haven't met that person, but I know who that person is. A lot of times you know them better than they know themselves because they don't know um, the insecurities that they have, but it can come out in the conversation real quick. Um, but, you know, this video was more just, I wanted to, it just, to me, it struck me as, as a trip how, you know, it's, As crazy as the world is out here, the innocence that you can find, even in just simple conversation, like people speak so freely, you know, and <clears throat> all right, I, I went on one and I was not comfortable with uh, where I was going with it. And so I felt it was my responsibility to edit that shit. So <clears throat> basically what I'm getting at is um, those of us that have done a lot of time, I wonder even the guys that didn't do a lot of time, if they still have that um, and do they let it go? Cause I, I wouldn't, um, but to me it was a trip and maybe you guys will think it's a trip, you know, and, um, for those women that watch this channel that have women that are in prison that uh, will be getting out at some point, don't doubt it. Um, just be prepared to um, be to have to work with your loved one as uh, he gets out and he's adjusting to the world and adjusting to the way people talk and um you guys already know i play call of duty and people talk so reckless man and uh but there will be things and i've i've gone through it in my relationship where my wife will say something and to me it means something different than what she intends it you know and I've learned to understand that 
um, I need to sometimes ask for clarification and I need to also learn because in prison when you speak you speak bluntly you don't leave loose ends um, because those are dangerous and and yet you know when we get out and we're talking to I remember when I first got out and and like we would go somewhere to eat and my wife would be like babe you were talking to him rough and I said no nah, he's a man he's all right he's gonna be all right <laughs> But he's a man of the world, you know, and I don't know, man, this, this video is kind of, I'm a little thrown off because I, I went on one, the shit I edited, but uh, like I said, I felt it was my responsibility to edit that shit out and keep it clean. Um, so with that, man, I'm out. Uh... <laughs>